Did you pass through the last time? No, I've only been through once, so I've got to go through again. Depends on whether you bring it under or over itself. The next yeah. time, you can take those out, but you're right. Last weekend in Nottingham, England, appropriately enough, members of the International Guild of Knot Tires shared knot knowledge and tying techniques, showing sea cadets the ropes. I make a loop and another loop, and very quickly it goes. Dan Mahowski is guild president. Knots have to be one of the, the first and basic tools that man used. And that's what knots are. A knot is a tool. These fingers take that. These fingers take this. No, no, grab that with these fingers. There you go. Bingo. And that's Tom Fool's knot. Sailors, rock climbers, arborists, knitters, even hangmen depend on knots. Knots are designed for a purpose, or not. Some are just for decoration. You can cover almost anything, any shape, with knotting. Phoebe Ashley Chardon carries on the legacy of her father, Clifford Ashley, who wrote and illustrated the Ashley Book of Knots in 1944. It's still revered as the Encyclopedia of Knotting. He had a knot table about this big that had lots and lots and lots of little nails in it he'd work out all the mathematical possibilities, in other words, all the possible ways the knot could be tied. 3,900 different knots in Ashley's book alone, including some here his daughters invented. Ashley's knot collection is a family treasure. I have a bag right here of button knots, and what he did when he tied them is tag them, and in fact, I probably have all hundred here. The thing I love most about tying knots is that it's an art that not many people know. At a Sea Scout meeting in Connecticut, scouts practice their loops, hitches, and bends. Um, I like the square knot. Mm -hmm. A square knot is a bend, a knot that joins two lines together. The scouts tried to teach me a loop knot called the bolin. Easy way of memory, you break the glass. Okay. You scratch the belly. Yep. You ground the tree. Go under the tree. Yep, under the tree. And then through your wrist. But see, I have two loops here. Why do you only have one? Don't like, <laughs> uh, one more time. Some people weren't meant to tie knots. <laughs> and I always train people that there's no right way and wrong way. There's just whatever the captain tells you you use that way on that ship when that captain's on. But when another captain comes on, you do it his way. Smart, that's a great <laughs> tip in life as well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Be adjustable. Mary Kay Burka Edwards has sailed 58,000 miles and now teaches at Mystic Seaport in Connecticut. On fishing schooners like the L.A. Dunton, there are several miles of line. And the only way to make lines work is to use knots. So. There were knots everywhere on the ship. Oh, it looks like a hammock. Yeah, yeah. That's my is. kind of knot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's got a name. It's just one that works for me. Back at the Nottingham Knot Convention, the knotters live by Clifford Ashley's words. Tying a knot is an adventure in unlimited space, he wrote. What can be more wonderful than that? There's your finished knot. It doesn't look as good as yours, but it's a start. It's a start, yes. It's, uh, you always have to have a start. <laughs>